the 10 best cheap eats in London. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you 10 tasty places to get food for pretty cheap. First place we're gonna start in this video is at Brindisa. It's at Borough Market. It has a chorizo sandwich that's about six pounds for the double chorizo, chorizo, arugula, spicy pepper, cooked up hot and fresh. Here we go, let's dive into it. Okay, now that I've had a few bites of it, it's pretty good. The roll, soft and fluffy, warmed up. The chorizo, not too spicy. I mean, it is spicy, but, and again, I'm from San Diego where we have some pretty spicy Mexican food. Definitely the Spanish version of this chorizo is a little less spicy, but still a really good kick and interplay between all the ingredients. Everything's really fresh. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this sandwich. If you wanna know, more about Borough Market and the other food stalls here, then check out my video on Borough Market and the best markets in London. That's a whole separate video to this one, which is just on Cheap Eats. For some cheap and delicious, classically British food, check out Mother Mash. What do they specialize in? They specialize in mashed potatoes with your choice of sausage or a meat pie. Just a little under 10 pounds for each. Truly delicious. They've got about eight different choices for mashed potatoes, from the traditional to the bubble and squeak, which includes peas and cabbage. I had the traditional with the Angus steak meat pie, quite delicious, lots of tender, juicy beef in there. The gravy, I had the traditional gravy, you got a lot of choices for that too. It's pretty good and it was just under 10 pounds. If you wanna be adventurous and classically British, add a side of mushy peas for about 165 and it is London, so get a Pride of London beer too. That'll push you over the 10 pound limit, but hey, you know, when in Rome, or in this case, when in London. For some of the best and cheapest fish and chips in London, check out the Laughing Halibut. It's located in Westminster, just a few blocks behind Westminster Abbey. If you get the fish and chips to go, it's seven pounds. It's a huge piece of cod, delicious chips or French fries as they might be known. Uh, if you eat in, it's gonna cost a little more, it's 10.50, but you can also get the mushy peas, which are a British specialty. Uh, I had a ginger beer to drink with it as well, no alcohol, so Served here, but the fish, very fresh, very flaky. It's a huge piece. Between the fish and the chips, I could not finish it all. It's almost a meal for two. I'm usually skeptical of places that claim they're the best of anything, but this place is pretty good. And you know it's authentic because on the table are the traditional British compliments. You got ketchup for the chips, you got mayonnaise, you got tartar sauce, you got brown sauce, and you've got malt vinegar. The next cheap eat on this list, it's also in my weird things to do list because it's kind of weird. It's in this church, the St. Martin in the Fields Church, which is at Trafalgar Square, but in this little rotunda right here, they've got a cafe in in the crypt. Yes, you can have lunch in the crypt of this church. It's kind of like a cafeteria style. You pick up your tray, you go down the line, they have daily specials, fish and chips for less than 10 pounds. And today I had the soup and the apple crumble, seven pounds. Pretty cheap, good deal, pretty filling. So do check this out, right Trafalgar Square, and to go in the cafe in the crypt, find this little glass dome that says crypt and head on down there. Popular place for lunch. So if you've been in London for a little while and you're tired of fish and chips and meat pies, well check out Roti King. It's Malaysian and Singapore style street foods. It's located just behind Euston Station. It's one block in the back. You'll find it, it's got this yellow sign and you'll know you're in the right place because, well, it's got a staircase that often has a line going down it. Some of the best deals they have are at lunchtime where they've got lunch specials for five for six pounds. Uh, but what you really want to come here for is the roti. Roti is a Malaysian style of flatbread that's popular in Malaysia and Singapore. For five pounds, you can get the roti with some curry that you can dip it into. You'll see them cooking the roti up fresh. For a little more, you can get it with fillings. Uh, I also really like their noodles, the mee goreng noodles. Super delicious, super fresh, spicy, savory. Uh, I had shrimp and chicken that was quite plentiful. I was quite full. The noodles were a meal in and of itself. And their other drink specialty is tea tarek, which is a pulled tea. You can get it hot or cold. For a whole neighborhood full of cheap and tasty eats, check out London's Chinatown. Just a couple blocks from Piccadilly Circus. You can't miss it because it's got the red Chinese lanterns. There's also a Chinese gate over here. Lots of cheap noodles, buns. It's only a couple blocks, but it's a lot of cheap eats packed into a small neighborhood. 
And if the red lanterns didn't give it away, you'll also know you're in the right place because you'll find ducks hanging in restaurant windows. I'll take them all. If you're not craving Chinese but you want some Japanese instead, stop by Ipudo for some of London's best ramen. It's a chain direct from Japan. You can get their base tonkatsu noodles for £8.90. And for the most authentic ramen eating experience, have a seat at the noodle bar where you can see those noodles cooking up in the back. You can see the steam coming off them. Now that we've covered all the independent cheap eats in London, let's move on to some of the cheap eat chains. These, while maybe not getting as much press in like cheap eats, things, and time out, they are still good, cheap, but the Londoners might already know what they are. But if you're traveling here, you might not. My favorite cheap eat chain is called Pret. They do prepared sandwiches, some of the best prepared sandwiches ever. I love their club sandwich. The soups are pretty good too. Oh, and take my tip, get the carrot cake for dessert. You'll enjoy it. The next cheap eat chain on the list, interestingly enough, is called Eat. There's a ton of these throughout London. It's pretty similar to Pret in that they have a bunch of prepared sandwiches, but what Eat has that Pret doesn't is more hot foods, in particular meat pies. I had a chicken and mushroom meat pie with mashed potatoes, seven pounds, 25 pence. Pretty good deal, pretty filling, pretty tasty. The mashed potato is definitely real mashed potato, so check out Eat. Uh, also right next to Eat here, next on the list is Yo Sushi. Yo Sushi has a lot of locations in London. They specialize in rotating sushi, goes around on a conveyor belt. The price depends upon which one you get, but they'll run you between two to six pounds, depending upon the color of the plate. For some cheap and tasty pizza and pasta, stop by Vapiano's. This may sound strange, but it's a German-owned Italian chain, but the pizzas and pastas are pretty good. The salami pizza, about eight pounds. It's a big pizza. My hand is in there for scale. You can see it is a meal in and of itself. They've got plenty of pastas too. They cook them up fresh. Basically, when you go in, you get a card that you order from. You stand in line, you order, they give you a buzzer, and then you pick up your food when it's ready. So check out Vapiano's. If you're craving a burger, a Skip McDonald's or Burger King, head on over to Five Guys. The American chain that originally started in Washington, D.C. has expanded all over London. They have like 15 or 20 locations. You'll find them all over. The cheeseburger, uh, the little cheeseburger is 850 Great British Pounds. It's pretty good. Uh, fresh fries. You'll see the potatoes in the store and they'll always tell you where the potatoes came from. In the U.S. they often come from Idaho, but here they definitely come from England. In addition to Five Guys, the New York originated Shake Shack has opened a few locations in London. One of them here is in Covent Garden. You can get the Double Shack Burger for $8.75. And I think it's a pretty big debate. What's better, the Shake Shack Burger or the Five Guys Burger? Well, you could eat both and let me know. Chipotle has opened up a couple locations in London. If you've had it in America, well, you might not need to have it here. But if you haven't, they make really good custom-made burritos for just about seven pounds. Another Asian fast food chain is called Itsu. It's by the people who originally built Pret. You can get Asian salads, sushi, and rice bowls. Quick serve in and out. For some Portuguese rotisserie chicken, stop by Nando's, another chain that has a lot of locations in London. Here you can get a quarter chicken with some sides, seven pound, 45 pence. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for new videos every week or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Subscribe, click on this yellow ball right here or click here, here to watch some of the other videos from our London series. All right, bye-bye.